All right, it's January 7th, 2023. My name's Timothy French, and we're in Goldsboro, North Carolina, to continue on our quest to visit every town center in the state. So let's get started. We're right here at the end of the town center on a beautiful park they've created right here in town. Got this beautiful tree right here in the center. I bet that is beautiful when it's all bloomed out. Got a United States Marine a mural, a memorial or something down here. Along with these colored rocks, it looks like a marine emblem, United States. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Oh yeah, they got the Navy here, an Air Force. This is Robinson Park, dedicated in memory of Joseph Robinson. Yeah, this is the freedom tree with the, with the vision of universal freedom for all mankind. This tree is dedicated to Captain Peter Cleary and all prisoners of war and missing in action. Well, that's awesome. I like what they've done around this tree here. A little color rocks help too. Got it where it lights up. You can see this little park goes all the way through town and goes on out through there where you can see it. And got the little ladybug art there and it goes on off to some lights and a I think another memorial down there, I'm not sure, but I parked over here right over on the side because I need a little more space. But there's plenty of parking down through town, so let's go down there and check it out. There's a fire department right there, Goldsboro Fire Department. We're on Center Street now, and they have really done a good job with this downtown center. It's around 12 o'clock now on a Saturday. Yeah. Goldsboro is the county seat for Wayne County. And uh, when the town first got formed, or well, the county first got formed, the county seat was in a Waynesboro. And then this area started growing and people started moving here. So they had a vote in the county to see where they wanted to keep it in Waynesboro and move it up here to Goldsboro. And apparently, the legend has it, some of the Locals put uh, moonshine in the well to make people vote for Goldsboro. <laughs> so I don't know how true that is, but you know how stories go. <laughs> anyway, town center's up ahead. So I'm going to jump on up to that section. As we close in on it, there's a outdoor pavilion here. I suppose they play music and all up in there. It's a great little place. Got all lit up. Still got the Christmas decorations out. So I don't know how much longer those will be up. They should be taken up down soon. <laughs> I gotta go out here and see what this thing is. <laughs> Looks like a dinosaur, red, white, and blue dinosaur. <laughs> they led the way. Ghost, Ghost World's own USCT regiment. It talks about them. Yeah, you can get a lot of history in this. This is part of the Civil War trails. There's a show of what it looked like there, and I guess they had people taking down trees in these swamp areas right there. So if you want to come into town, learn about history, you can do that here. There's that red, white, and blue dinosaur. <laughs> this is awesome. By Benton's. <laughs> Yeah, I like you uh, art like that. I said we'll sit on the other side of his little butterfly. I don't think there's anything on these stones here. Thought there might be some writing on it. This beautiful little circle here. These stones add to the look. <clears throat> it says please do not climb on the fountain or walk through the landscape area. So I'm assuming it's a fountain at some point. Sometime or another, looks like a boat rudder down in it. And green swirling mellow around it. So I don't know. I don't know what that is. All right, we're getting into the businesses now. Wait for this car to come around. Hey y'all, 
downtown goes Goldsboro, North Carolina. Hashtag do it downtown. Yeah, do it in your downtowns. Keep your local mom and pops in business. Let the same olds have the bypasses and interstates and come on down here and visit these businesses. You can win five hundred dollars here by visiting these downtown merchants right here. That's cool. There's a store that's empty closed. So there's some place that to a couple of them right here some businesses could come into. This is beautiful down through here. These trees. I bet at Christmas well when they, even now when the when it gets dark it probably lights it up and looks got looks awesome. Salon 150 boutique right there. Did a good job with that. With that whole building there. Place to tie lock your bike up if you want to ride a bike in. <clears throat> Got another little outdoor sitting area over here. I guess maybe just a little park. You can grill out grill out there. It's the ABCD mailboxes. Maybe people live in there somewhere. I don't know. Let me look. private property I'm not sure now as we go back out on the sidewalk I can see another park there in the middle where you can see it got chairs and all they ought to put some t uh, tables with chessboard uh, boards on them like states and some other towns have done out there yeah a nice little swing right here that's good looking right here on the town uh, sidewalk here garden cuisine cuisine there I guess you can go in there. Looks like a store, but I, I guess you can eat in there. <laughs> kind of confusing. It's special use hearing on this building. I don't know what's going on there. There's a look at the other side. Let's step out here. Give you a look down that side as we go along. There we've got the ice, ice storm frozen dessert some more. Second Amendment Maine, like that. Yeah, check them out when you're in town. This is Cat's Happy Place, all right. I like that, this is Cat's Happy Place. City Hall, straight ahead. I like this building here. Looks like it was a, could have been an old hotel at one time. Terrence Room. There. That's cool. Got a bakery. Here on the south center of Walnut now. Nail crafters on my right in that building. Oh, they got a lot of businesses down that way too. So that's me. Well, they got these fountains in here. Makes me think we're right in the center now. So yeah, let's turn right. Check it out down here. Yeah, that had to be a hotel. No boutique right here. Plenty shopping in town. Travel staffing right there. Let's pick up the pace here a little bit. You can see Alley's not too bad, dirty. It's a law office here. couple more offices can't tell it looks empty in there so some space available got a florist right here on this one it's closed down here so I don't know we got photoeventcom.com and best beauty supply we got New York fashions over here my little shop down here <laughs> How you doing? You doing all right? You doing good? Doing great. Yeah, good. I love this town. It is. Yeah, New York fashions here. 
Best Beauty Care and Skin Therapy Day Spa. Yeah, they're working on these buildings down to here too. Shoppers Delight, multiple stores. Yeah. Like you, like you see, just a minute ago, they're working on it down here. They are. I saw this interesting sign here. It's Reader's Choice Favorite Family Shoe Store. And it's even got its old neon sign. Shoes, Family Shoe Store. That's awesome there. This is what I'm all about when I come to these small towns. I love these businesses like that. Something, you know, every, all, lots of places sell shoes, but what makes a store, in my opinion, is the owners of the store. You know? Let's go across. Yeah. You have the individual owner in that store, not just some manager. It makes a difference. I mean, managers do a good job too, but when it's the actual store owner it's just something about it it's different you got jay's 108 sushi booger burgers down there not boogers <laughs> the uh, art market here looks like there's nothing in there they're leasing this building out here so yeah they've uh, they want to extend this off that center street where they've got it fixed up real nice and those buildings and businesses are doing pretty good art out of here Fix the alleys up. Got the Optimus Club down here. 60 minutes, one mission, crack the codes. So that must be the escape room down there. We're getting near the end. I don't know why the buildings extend down this way now. There's the courthouse. And that's a beautiful one, too. Right, let's go down here and take a quick look at it before we head back up. So here we are in front of the courthouse, a beautiful old courthouse, got a statue in memory of the soldiers in the World War. That's awesome. It's just a beautiful courthouse there. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I'm swing around, let you see out of town a little bit. They got another little park over there. And it looks like they got some more memorials over there on the other side as well that you can check out. Ooh, I might slip down. Yeah, check those out when you're in town. Got some little buildings off to the side here. I found an interesting when I was coming down. Let's see what they are. It says County of Wayne Employee Health Care. But now it's a law office. Just a cool looking building here in town. Back up a little bit, get that whole building in there. Yeah, it's cool looking. All right, well, let's step on up back up to the town center. So we've passed the shoe store, we're headed back up now. I saw this Chubby's Diner right here on the left. It says, Thank you for celebrating one year of Chubb Amazing food. That's yeah, good, got a little mural and out of the way to get to a parking lot down there. Big and tall shop here for you on the right got plenty of signage for you to know where to go get a little cooler as we go along through the day yeah I started out today in Newton Grove been making my way all the way up through here checking out towns along the way like Mount Olive just came from there and there's that hotel Again, I don't know what it is now. African American music trails. So that's good. I like that. I hadn't heard that before, so that'd be interesting to go get some more information on. So we're back here at the water fountain again. Got some little things in the street there. Let's see. Let me go this building real quick. So it had the Laughing Ale, Owl, Asian Fusion, American Cuisine. A couple of just want to go in there with the family, but it's closed. Let's move on down. All right. 
please. Parking spaces only. Ghost walk. Old ghost. Go, go. Goldsboro. I bet that's fun on Halloween. Got a pizzeria here. So, if you want some pizza, you got a place to do that. Right out here by City Trends. I've seen City Trends in other towns. I don't know if that's a one off or not. Downtown Goldsboro Community Development, downtown Goldsboro. It says shop small. Your support is a gift that keeps on giving. That's true. Okay. Something talking to me down here. Some parking right here. Yeah, got some more art out in the middle. That bird. Got some wings right here. You can probably step into and take you a selfie. Uh oh, I hear some music. So, all right, we're gonna have to switch off and save from another side. So, let's go look at this bird first. Ah, that music, man. You can't, you can't put it on there because copyright. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool looking. All right, that's loud too. We should, if they turned down just a little bit, I could go over there, but pretty loud. There's a look on down through there. Looks like a store of some sort. So it says something shack, so I ain't sure what it is. Alright. Let's go on over here. Go back to the end. Bicycle world here. The Briar Coffee House. Looks like they're getting ready to open. And a realty store. That's about it. I was going to go out there and look at that art piece. Well, let's see. Let's go a little further. Maybe I'll keep that turn this way. That music won't be too bad until I get by it. If it is, I'll cut this part out. I just wonder what this building is down here. What is that? Let's jump over there and see. Goes Gold's World. Goldsboro City Hall. Boy, they got fancy. Those gold statues on top. There's a clock. You can't see it. If we go back a little bit further, you see a clock. But yeah, beautiful town hall. There's a look back from the direction we came. We're going to jump on up and pass those stores we were at earlier and keep on going. Just thought I'd stop here and show you they got a downtown Goldsboro transformation story. I'm not going to read it all to you, but if you're in town, you can read that. And uh, I was looking at a picture of the town from years back, and it has definitely been transformed. They got some more stores down that side over there. I don't know. Yeah, let's go around there. I don't want to leave nobody out. Maybe we can get by that music. So, yeah, they got some stores down here. There's the Fat Cats. Music and sound. They're washing their windows up, getting them clean. You got a paint and play store and rye. I'm not sure what rye is. Let's go over. Y'all the best. I ain't sure what they do. So, the Lou is open, a little boutique there. Yeah, <laughs> got a little cactus right there. Yeah, that store ride needs to put a little bit more what they are. I like their sign, but it didn't, didn't really tell me what it was. All right, we're gonna get back to that other side in just a minute. Well, we gotta hear if that music's playing first. Yep, so we'll see you on the other side. On the other side now, right here, this downtown pharmacy. They quit playing that music, so I think we'll, oh, starting back. Let me run up here and get by them. I don't know why they gotta play it so loud. Ain't no sense in that. No sense in it. All right, bicycle world. North Face, that looks like a cool shop to go in. Right. This building here needs something done, it's for rent, if you want to do that. You gotta be a good business in there, it's big. Alright, there's another alleyway. First impressions, clothing and accessories here. 
Let's get back and look at that. Yeah, they've done a good job with their shop. All this outdoor decoration helps in these towns. Look at there. Shop to stop human trafficking. This used to be a theater right here. Looks like they stuccoed over the top of it. I bet that was some Art Deco looking designs underneath. I hate they did that. Well, it's a gift. Cafe gifts and home decor now. Hmm, smells good out here. Smells good. All right, premium cuts is in there. Another Mimi's boutique. So plenty of shopping. This is a little place to eat. Is that Bryce's Road Street? Latin, Latin cuisine there. That's a beautiful building right here. Look at those bricks and windows. Then they got another shop here of gifts and home garden items and places to sit outside. Just loving that. Got the door wide open waiting for you to come in. Yeah, that's awesome. I like that. I like that. Man, this is a big old town. Hope I got enough memory left. I'm gonna go down here and check these buildings out real quick and then we'll come back. So it came all the way out to James and Walnut, and you can see there's buildings going all the way out through there and back down that way. So there's a lot of opportunity for expansion in this town. I bet they're gonna get it as they keep growing. And there looks like it's probably another hotel at one time, I guess. Uh, this is the view is what it's gonna be now. And they're leasing, so that'd be a cool place to live if you like to live in town. All right, well, let's head back down to the water fountain in the center again. We'll take a look at a few of these businesses as we go. Church, spirits, and cocktails right there. And ladies' shop right there. Yeah. Display windows make the town, I tell you. Unique and gospel. Galleria. How you doing there? Good. All right. Back to the, I said waterfall earlier. <laughs> Fountain of, is what I'm talking about. There's that shop over there. We can take it right here. This building's empty on the right. What a prime spot to have right here at the center. Yeah, community. They just got signs in it right now, but. Yeah, see, they got the sign showing all the stores back and forth on both those streets. We went down off the center here. Yep, that's a prime spot. Hope somebody will put something in there soon. Got American flags in here. And this one is empty. Top Hat Ballroom. Dance studio. That's cool. They got a fancy building to do it in. Yeah, a lot of people like to learn how to dance fun what is this one ice cream sold here it's closed today it's kind of odd no name on top it's kind of weird I don't know if I, I've seen stores where they'll sell they'll have items that you can shop around and look at and then they'll sell ice cream too but Everyone I've seen, I've never seen open. <laughs> Only one. Acme Theater. Another theater. That's two in town. Cool. Yeah, I imagine that was. Y'all let me know if that wasn't a theater, but that's what I'm thinking. Got hair fair. Beauty supply here. Look at the other side. We were on earlier when we started. Yeah, this is a big department store here. Maxway. Alright, they so they got a little bit of everything. Never heard of Maxway, that's good. I like to go to towns and go in stores I've never heard of before. It's so boring seeing the same old, same old all over the country. So, another beautiful building. Another beautiful, look at that. They have really done a good job on that one. And the way they've done their outdoor seating. Uniquely ours. Coffee, tea, and wine. 
Let me get a shot of them. I might use them for the thumbnail. Might use them. Hadn't decided, but I might, so I want a picture of it. <laughs> what is this place? Another big building. This looks like it might be a theater. Paramount. All right. I'm going to come down here and see some of these. Fan Fest 2023, February 11th. Looks like some type of Star Wars thing. Princess Party on January 21st. All kinds of things. Let's see. I don't see their website. I was going to let you know what it is. But anyway, it's called the Paramount. Let's look at it. Yep, there it is. Beautiful old building. Looks like they have shows in there. That'd be fun. Wayne County Republican headquarters here. And then they got off in the distance. Well traveled beer. Well, I'm well traveled, traveled, and I like beer. <laughs> That'd probably be a good place for me. Got green thrum florist, and they had a little place for me to do selfies over the Christmas season. You go down these nooks and crannies, it's got beautiful old houses down that way. You can see them off in the distance. Tobacco and hops down there. So, yeah, when you come to these towns, you know, they, they've worked on this center street, but uh, all them shops are down them side streets too, so don't forget. All right, well traveled beer. They were established 2016. And again, They've using these signs to show you all the businesses down each street, and that's a good idea. Might like to see them a little bit bigger, but uh, I mean, that's a good idea. Well, travel, they're closed right now, so I guess I have to travel on. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this walk and talk tour of Goldsboro, North Carolina. If you did, I appreciate it. If you like, subscribe, and share. Y'all take care.